All right, another quick video here. So these are called hybrid lights. They have a nice little solar panel that will actually charge, and it's not a gimmick. It, it, it actually works. Actually, um, right now you can see, see the red LED? Just the can lights are enough that this is getting a small trickle charge. So realistically, I could just leave this thing here on the dining room table all the time, and it would stay nice and topped off just from us eating dinner, and then if we ever needed it for an emergency. Uh, so I may actually keep it over here on this table. Um, but anyway, so the Provident Preppers, um, Jonathan and Kyleen Jones, I saw these on their channel recently. I started watching them. They have some longer format videos, but they have a lot of good content. And they seemed so excited, especially Kyleen. She just loved these things. And I thought I'd go ahead and get some and test them out. Yep. Yeah. The solar panel on this one's not getting so great off of the, the can lights, but that one is. Anyway, that just amazes me that the four LED can lights are enough to give it somewhat of a charge. Sorry, focus. Um, great little flashlights. So this is the Journey 600. It has the solar panel, as I said. Here on the end cap, it's a pretty good fit because it's supposed to be water resistant. Um, you've got a USB micro and you've got a USB A, so you can charge it via the USB micro or you can charge it via the solar panel. Inside it has a, f uh, let's see, this is Journey 600, so this has a 5,000 milliamp hour battery. Like, I think my iPhone SE 2022 has like a 1100 milliamp battery, 1200 milliamp battery, something like that. So <laughs> I could charge my phone off this via USB A uh, four times theoretically from zero, it, you know, produces a decent light. We'll go in the basement here in a little bit. You've got the two light settings, and then if you hold it, there we go. Then you've got the little SOS emergency kind of, you know, whatever. Um, I, the only complaint I have about this is I do not like the feeling of this plastic. It also definitely holds oil because I've only got some beeswax lotion bar on my hands from a couple hours ago and it's showing. But I mean, it's a flashlight, whatever. It, it just, it doesn't, I don't like the feel of it. It's not a big deal. Like it's a flashlight, whatever. I just have like tactile issues with some materials and this one just happens to be one that I don't like. Again, not a big issue. Um, the point of this is we just always have a way to have power, you know, or I mean, have flashlight and then we can power our devices with it. So do I like the flashlight? Yeah, it's, it's nifty. Um, and I'm always going to have a light source when I need it. What I really love though, is this thing. It still just amazes me that it's, it's actively charging from the can lights. That is crazy. Same kind of deal here. We have two USB A's and the USB micro. We can charge it via the micro. We can charge it via the solar panel, which is actively happening. Um, this one is not as waterproof, water resistant. I mean, this rubber door just kind of flimsily goes in there, whereas the other's got a nice cap with a gasket. Uh, I believe that says that in the literature that this one's like just water resistant, whereas the other one might be waterproof. Um, yeah, so you've got this little hook here and you can hang it on stuff, you know, when you're camping or hanging on a guy line or hanging on a tree or whatever. The cool thing is it's going to be hard to see here. You can kind of see down in here and you can see all of the different LEDs, the surface mount LEDs that are in there. Uh, this thing is ridiculous. I'm not going to turn it on here. Well, yeah, here I'll angle it away from the camera. So there we go. I wasn't pushing it right. So it's obscenely bright. It's even brighter, and I just hurt my eyes, and it's brightest yet. This thing is ridiculous. We're going to go down into the uh, food storage here in a second, and I'll show you just how crazy it is. The This is the Atlas 600. It has a 4,000 milliamp hour battery. It does 600 lumens on the highest setting. This also does 600 lumens on the highest setting. Um, this thing's like eight and a half ounces. This is about 13 ounces. So... They claim on this one that it will do um, about 100 hours on that lowest setting. And the lowest setting is like decent enough to sit around and eat or something. On the highest setting, it is 
almost as bright as the two LED lights in my ceiling fixture in my office. I would show you that, but my office is a mess. I'm uh, rearranging both my work and personal desk, so let's not do that. Let's go downstairs. We'll show you this thing in action down there. First, I'll apologize if you hear the dehumidifier. Uh, it's rained for like a week and a half, so the thing's pretty much running nonstop. But here we are in the pantry. Um, I've just got one uh, naked LED bulb in a little, you know, fixture in the ceiling. You can see what you're doing down here. It's not too bad. So we're going to go ahead and you can see the light in here now. We'll go ahead and turn this thing on. I'm going to direct away from it, though. So we'll switch this off. Yeah, you know, this is on the lowest setting, not the greatest. Actually, let me pull the door closed because we're getting some light from out there too. So yeah, you know, not the brightest thing. Let's go to the medium setting, a little bit better. Now we got the, the brightest setting. I can see down here fairly well. It's not coming across on camera, which defeats the purpose of this. <laughs> But plans, you know. But I can totally see what I'm doing down here if I need to come get something. This is the highest setting again. Plenty to see by, plenty to see by. Can get an idea what's down here if I needed to. And again, this camera's not picking it up as well. With the naked eye, I see so much better. I don't know how to mess with the light balance on this little guy but you'll just have to take my word for it. it. It really is a great lantern. I bought this in the flashlight, and as soon as they came, I immediately ordered another one of these lanterns. Let's go ahead and turn the lantern off. Sorry for the darkness. We'll give you a little bit of the flashlight here now. So this is the lowest setting of the flashlight. Here's the highest setting. Again, I can come down here. I can see almost an entire shelf at once. And, you know, I can... Get something if I had to in an emergency. Don't mind all of our diet soda. Well, some of that's actually got sugar in it, but you know. Uh, hashtag not sponsored, but that Coca-Cola uh, zero vanilla is the greatest thing ever if you can find it. Some of those are zero, some of them aren't, but yeah. I just wanted to show you these cool flashlights. Again, that's hybrid light. I'll have links down in the description. Um, yeah. Just such a great little light, and a big thanks to Jonathan and Kylene Jones again at the Provident Prepper. Provident Preppers, I guess, if you want to be technically accurate. But their channel is Provident Prepper. Go check it out if you're into that kind of thing. If not, you know, thanks for stopping by. Have a good one.